Hi guys, my name is Means. We're taking a look at Robot Damashi Gundam Gaming S1 with the Assault Booster. Got my from Tatsu Hobby. Uh, they have it just below 40 bucks, so pretty good deal. And I'll put the link down below to check that out. And uh, getting back to this, my first uh, exposure on this one is actually the Super Deformed Gaming S. Those little guys are actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it actually had the same uh, add-on you can put on the shoulder boosters. And it's pretty cool. You can transform the little uh, Super D4. And it's a while back. Other than that, I think you can get the 144 scale. That with a high grade standards uh, this time. It's kind of like a first grade. But I was looking forward if they're ever going to make uh, maybe uh, an actual high grade. And But no, they made an action figure. Which is uh, pretty good nonetheless. Hence I'm looking forward into getting this. So here's the box art, pretty nice, a uh, nice layout on the side here or in the back. And again, you're gonna have the two modes. We get the regular mode, and I believe this is kind of like the space, although it seems like it's assault booster. I'm just gonna call this space unit. Where you have add-on of uh, you know, shoulder uh, boosters, even the knee, or actually the leg boosters. Just helps you maneuver in space. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. And I have to say, the box. Yeah, just a curious observation. The cardboard is getting thinner. It's a little more, yeah, a little more lighter, and it's, yeah, actually, the thing, the box is a little bit more fragile now. Just a curious observation. Otherwise, that's that. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Alright, so uh, I'm going to take this out. It's taped up, so I'm just going to leave it on the side here. Um, we'll just take a look at the instructions and whatnot. Uh, let's leave the silver backing on the box. Alright, so uh, first off, I noticed this one. This is the disclaimer that's saying that we're not supposed to turn the flaps on the back. Maybe they're not supposed to. I'll, we'll check that out. So that's a disclaimer there. Otherwise, we get several pairs of hands closed. Um, I think holding for the beam saber, trigger fingers, and open hand. Very basic uh, set of uh, arms. Inside, connections on how to put the shoulder booster, the binder or the backpack thing. Pretty cool. Connector part, beam saber, shield. And oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the, it's just a clap on. That's a lot better. <laughs> I remember my type Leos were. You have to disassemble stuff. So that's great. Alright, so that's basically it. And let's take a look at, uh, at the figure. Alright, we got the figure here and it looks great. Actually, he can stand on its own without any problem. Pretty cool. Um, not sure if you can see that, but he has some green eyes right there. And I had to uh, transform him back because again, uh, when you get it out of the box, he has the assault booster already. Now, just look at the details of. You'll see it's kind of plain right now. Uh, this will definitely help uh, a lot if you panel line it. There's a lot of lines here you know, that will benefit from that a lot, as well as, well as the other side here. So, highly recommend if you can uh, panel line this robot doll machine. I think that it will stand out a little bit more. Alright, so um, in terms of articulation and what you can do with this guy, um, in terms of head, huh? He can has a swivel, but I'm not sure if he can if it's double. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just looking for it's double jointed neck, but uh, he can look down, but not so much for up, because his backside of his uh, head is hitting that. And uh, on the back here, yep, it's fixed. Actually, it would be nice if they've... You know what? Actually, it's just great that it's fixed. There's no point of uh, making a swivel. It's probably just going to be too loose. You have a uh, detachable beam saber hilts here. You got the shoulder, which has some great articulation. Elbow band. And this is nice. And detachable. Good to know. <laughs> but it's nice always to have the, sh uh, the elbow or even the knee. To be separate, well, this one's not. Huh. 
What is that? Oh, there we go. It is somewhat... Okay, I was hoping that this part breaks off, but... That's wishful thinking sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, there's, there's a third uh, part there. Well, not really. But uh, they do have the elbow. That's nice that they always uh, have that separated. It's not connected to the forearm. Moving on, we have the waist. Which has a little bit of... And there's barely any tilt there. Oh, okay. Maybe... The front part of the chest, or the tummy area, does cave in a little bit. So that's good. Back skirt can swivel. Hmm, interesting. Got the side skirt here, front skirt. Yep. Uh, that's fairly standard. You get a swivel here, I think. Pretty sure. No, that. Huh. I don't want to break this. I wonder if there's a swivel here. Uh, I'm not feeling it. It doesn't let me, so I'm not gonna force it. Um, in terms of legs. We already shown the knee bend, not too bad. Then we have the ankle. Get this rigid points here. There we go. We can bend that. This thing just swivels around. Okay. So it's just like a ring in there. Sometimes it's just connected in uh, like a, another. Maybe on top here. There's another ball joint. I've seen that, but not this one. It's actually great that they they did that with the ankle guards. And in terms of paint app, again, need to panel line, but uh, some parts are have got metal in them, kind of shines through with the light. Also in this part here, quite nice. And on the side here, yeah, overall, uh, looks great. Just a bit of lacking with terms of panel lining. Right, so that's on. Uh, as for that, uh, let's take a look at the shield, which I also like. So we have number one here, some insignia, vertical cool, uh, shield, and this connector part again from the instruction. You can put it any of uh, those ball joint connection part. There's a peg on the back. Let's see if we can connect that properly and uh, barely there. There we go. Almost. <laughs> All right. I got the shield on and if you have it in the middle part it just goes over the, or just below the shoulder so that's great and we're just gonna there we go pretty cool so right now we have the closed fist uh, we got a variety of hands we have the open hand here let's see what else we have the beam saber uh, hand or beam saber handle handling hands there we go so you do have a spare also. Uh, this one's a little bit open compared to the closed. Yeah, that the the, uh, the part there, and you have beam sabers. You actually have a pair. So on uh, this one, when it's opened up, there you go. Pretty cool. And uh, why don't we use the right hand if I can find that right here? So we can just swap it. That should probably be a good idea to swap the hands first sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so I'll pop this out. Hmm, it feels like a straight peg, but it, that small joint that I'm not too fond of. It's just. And putting on the new. <laughs> there we go. It's in there. Somewhat. Alright, obviously you're gonna take that out. Can't have too many beam saber hills. It's not gonna be accurate. So there we go. Nice beam saber. Um, yeah, the handle is. Uh, it works this way. It's kind of flat, but you can always. Uh, there we go. That's a lot better. Yeah, pretty cool uh, beam saber hilts. All right, so we went over that. Uh, let's take a look at the rifle. Alright, so we have the rifle here, and I believe this is called Accelerate Rifle. And you can shoot a regular shot or you can uh, charge out for a hyper shot. Ah, huh, interesting. No moving parts on it though, just standard. 
All right, so again, you gotta get a pair left and right over here. Where we're just gonna use the right one and just put this on. So then, probably best to put it here first. And I just looked up that the shield is called a G unit shield. <laughs> All right, and uh, just slide this on. I really like how they just slides on without any trouble. And there we go. We got the rifle. A pretty nifty rifle. I like that. Yeah, this is amazing. Just like cool po uh, poses you can do with this. Really cool. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we went over that one. What else am I missing? I think that's a bit about it for the weaponry. Now let's go with the transformation. Alright, so for the transformation, or <laughs> I just add on stuff, best to remove the shield first so it doesn't get out of the way. Alright, so we're going to look at the back uh, or the leg boosters first. So here we go. Pretty cool looking. Uh, there's three points of connection, there's three pegs, one on each side and right here for the back. I'm seeing a vents here, pretty cool, some thruster, nice. Now which way it goes, because you have two of them. <laughs> Inside, there's a little knot, uh, it tells you there's an R there for the right. And I believe this one is left, there's an L right there. So right side, put this on. So I believe I've attached the back side first. Then just clamp on. It's kind of cool how it just clamps on easily. Same thing here. So again there's a peg underneath right there and onto the side. Alright and there we go. Um, I don't think, yeah there's not much moving in there. It just just gotta uh, add on <laughs> and sometimes it's probably best if it's fixed I find that you know, there's certain figures where you already have a lot of things going on and you end up just uh, it becomes too flimsy if you have too, mo too much moving parts alright the next part is the shoulder so we're gonna go in and detach it and I believe it just pops up like that quite easily it's kind of interesting that uh, it's hollow here and that uh, the side inside retains. And we're going to pop this in. And likewise, I'm guessing this one has... Actually, maybe... Uh, this one probably doesn't matter. I'm going to just drop it. <laughs> this one doesn't matter which way it goes. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to attach it through here. Hoping it... Uh, there we go. I think it stays on. And the same thing with here. There we go. Now uh, for this, some moving parts. We, have, we can move the vents <clears throat> for the thrusters. Uh, very interesting concept. You can rotate it too. We have very modular and whichever way he wants to go from side, from the thruster there, or moving forward. I'm not sure I'm not too sure how this works. <laughs> huh. Well I know it's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And it has a ball joint there, so there's a little bit of play there. Alright. Last but not least, we got at the booster in the back. So we got this, and I believe it only goes one way. We got that top part right there. Slide it in. There's two pegs on the back, and there we go. So this one, you got a little bowl joint there, and you can also uh, swivel this. Kind of like wings. So that's kind of nice. A very interesting design. 
pretty cool. And I believe you can still have the shield. I don't think it's going to hinder anything. There we go. Got to find that spot to get on the back of the arm. Just almost there. Well, I'll get it there eventually. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me put uh, some of his armaments back. Alright. And now we got to at attach this for the stand. So I think it just goes underneath. Like most, uh, I think that's, yeah, or she might be here. Sometimes they just keep moving where the location is. Why is that? There we go. All right, and how much she base? I didn't realize it's going to be on that angle. should have. Let's make some adjustments. Right, get your screwdriver. Loosen that a little bit. And that's about right. Maybe a little bit more. Tighten it again. There we go. Alright. So. <laughs> Bull joint. It's so great that they just pop off. And it's easy to put back. Sometimes you just had that feeling. Oh, did I break it? Hope not. Anyways, um, here we go. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, actually, let me see. Yeah, I think there's. Yeah, there we go. I forgot. Uh, there's a joint there that lets you move it down, up and down. Then you have a bowl joint here. So that's it's pretty cool. Uh, very modular. Or not modular. Has some articulation. Let me just put it that way. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Let me fix that again. Alright, there we go. I have to say this uh, pretty cool Gundam, the Gaminos. Very interesting coming out of the Gundam wing. It's an MSV. And can't wait for number two, which uh, has been announced. I'm definitely sure to pick that out. Got that pre-ordered already from Tatsuhagi. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, this is uh, very, uh, very cool. I highly recommend getting it. Uh, it's one of the interesting ones. Uh, interesting design. I uh, definitely love the booster. Uh, again, you, you can move it a lot. And just the base figure itself without the booster is nice too. Um, you get a plenty of accessories. You get a rifle, shield, beam saber. And yeah. I really like the design. It kind of is like Gundam Wing because of this somewhat. <laughs> Although I read on the wiki it's actually based off the Toll Geese. Hmm, kind of interesting. But yeah, there we go. That is the review for this one. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.